Welcome back to video two of the corn, the milk honey corn. Okay. Now, I did it, like I said, I put, when it came up to a boil, I put the lid on a jar that had let out some of the steam and not boil over. And I turned it down to a low boil and went for about five to eight minutes. And then took the lid off after the timer got done. And I let it sit in there for another another five minutes, five to six, seven minutes. So, let's take this ear of corn out. I've been kind of juicing it around too. As it boils, I kind of move stuff around that way. You know, with one corner of the cob that, you know, sticking up like this, that, uh, that way that side gets it too. So, I did that a couple times. So, let's take this ear of corn out. Okay, and then we'll take it all and put it on a platter or a plate. <clears throat> and then you just serve it with more butter or salt and pepper if you needed to. However you eat your corn on the cob. And if you're corn on the cob, you get, um, some of the couple of the years was real getting dry. And so, even if they're dry a little bit... I poked them down in here, and they were constituted back up to big, fat kernels, okay? This is how to save some corn, too. Because sometimes, not right now, because we're still in the season. But when you get down to the end of the season, on the corner of the cob at the end of summer, sometimes they start getting dried out. <coughs> and then that's how you still use it. So there we have a big platter of uh, milk honey corn. Now the honey brings out the sweetness of the corn. You could do sugar, but honey makes it so much better. I used to do with sugar, and now I do honey instead. So I hope you tried this recipe. Now you could do this in your Instapot, same way you did on the kettle on the stove. You put everything in the Instapot, put it on your pressure cook manually on high, for about five to seven minutes and then um, let it come down to pressure manually a little bit for about five minutes then flip your switch in the back let the steam come out um, and then when you know when it's safe to open the lid when after the all the steams evaporated and then serve it up so I hope you enjoy this episode of Simba Sarah bye everybody